Thank you. I'm the Reverend John Coates, and I'm chairman of the Ohio Coalition of Concerned Citizens. And I begin by um, thanking uh, Robert Owens for his advocacy in finding this issue to be important. Um, the Ohio Coalition of Concerned Citizens, we urge Attorney General Nancy Rogers to immediately object to the state of Ohio's private investigator security guard commission's attempt to regulate prior private proprietary security operations. Now, um, a private proprietary security operation is simply a private business that hire people to do security, police, watch guard functions that they pay. They're not a security company that they hire. They are individuals that are hired by these companies to um, actually perform these functions. And in fact, for your um, information, the um, Ohio Reserve Code that, re that um, um, defines what a private security operation um, is, is found in revised code, rather, is 4749, the Ohio Revised Code 4749 defines what a private security operation is and who they can assess. We feel that this commission is a commission that has run a run. And I don't believe that this is government solely. I think this is driven by the private security industry um, and, and, and their attempt to drive or to gain access to these private businesses to uh, make more money. And I think government looked at it and said, oh, here's an opportunity for us to grab additional dollars. And we believe that that's not right, it's not fair, and that the current attorney general can help snip this, nip this in the bud before it gets to the Ohio General Assembly. Uh, this affects businesses such as the um, Columbus State University who hires their own um, the security guards and police. It affects businesses like the Ohio State uh, Medical Hospital that hires their own police. It affects businesses like Easton Town Center. It affects businesses potentially like the Columbus Public Library. It, it, it protects businesses like um, our, our clubs, nightclubs, hire um, people to perform a function and a task. It affects businesses like my church, where we hire our members to watch the parking lot and provide security function within our businesses. We do not want to be assessed additional dollars for protecting ourselves. We believe that it is our constitutional right to be able to do so, and it's through educating the um, community to hold this issue to be introduced into this election cycle, and that all candidates uh, for attorney general would take a position on it, as Mr. Owens has done as well, and that Attorney General Rogers will act on this. Serving in the commission certainly is making recommendations to uh, the commission. Mine too. Has a significant voice in the commission, and it really comes down to a theory of law. If you understand constitutional law, that we as citizens have certain foundational rights, including the right to self-protection, that's the, the foundation that needs to be understood. government take the attitude that if it moves, tax it, and if it keeps moving, regulate it. That 
system has to come crashing down. We have to be, we have to be given the individual right to provide for our own defenses. And certainly we don't need government involvement and government regulation that's going to continue to burden private businesses from taking appropriate actions and from protecting their own property. Any thoughts on this uh, squabble between the two campaigns on what is public service and what is public service? Well, I think it's a complete outrage that they're picking non-issues to squabble over. You know, when I saw that they're analyzing hundreds of press releases, I thought to myself, why don't they start analyzing the financial records of the companies that are benefiting from no-bid contracts? Why don't they start analyzing the contracts of slush funds and big political giveaways? We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars that are being pilfered from the Ohio Treasury. Let's talk about those issues. That's what matters to Ohio, not how many press releases or what counts as public service or nonsensical issues. I mean, do they really think that all the scandals in the Attorney General's office, there's no issues to talk about, that all the concerns are solved? We've got real issues, and it's high time we start talking about real issues. Would this, do we know if this would mandate some kind of government background checks on these employees? Or well, fingerprints or anything like that? When you look at the history of how regulation works, whether it's on a small scale or a large scale, the bottom line is it's a slippery slope. Uh, as uh, Reverend Coates pointed out, this is still at the commission level. There are no specific criteria that are set yet. However, just a discussion moving down these uh, guidelines is anti-constitutional, it's anti-freedom, and it's anti-business. We've got to nip this in the bud because anybody that has been around the legislative process knows that if you're going to stop legislation, you better stop it early because once it gets on a roll and picks up big money sponsorship, it's a leviathan that will steamroll the Ohio people. Thank you all for uh, joining us on this uh, rainy day, and uh, we'll be able to take some questions afterwards as well. Rainy is someplace a little bit drier.